Hi everyone, welcome to PowerShell for Penetration Testers at Pentester Academy. In this video, we see another method of privilege escalation with the help of PowerShell and that is manipulating user tokens on a machine. For this, we will use invoke token manipulation from Powersploit. This script has been written by Joe and is really useful if you want incognito like functionality in PowerShell. So, because in the previous videos we saw how we can escalate our privileges to a local admin. We are now back with the domain user and assuming that we have the local admin access. To, to use invoke token manipulation, we must run it from an elevated shell. So let's use invoke token manipulation we can always see help about it let's use the enumerate option to list all the available tokens on this machine so we have with for network service for domain user for a domain administrator as well and for the local system authority Now, how can we use these tokens? There are multiple ways to use tokens of these. The, the best one I like is we can just use invoke token manipulation process. Let's create cmd.exe with the anti authority system. Now Let's see, so the new command prompt reports that we have system, but let's see if uh, there are LSS secrets which are stored in the HKLM security registry hive. Even with administrative privileges, we are unable to access it, but with from system privileges it should be possible hklm security as you can see that we have successfully elevated our privileges from administrator local administrator to local system so this was just one of the tokens. Recall that we also had the domain administrator token on this machine. So it says that we are a domain administrator now. To verify, let's run a command from this Prompt first, let's call win32 operating system on computer, which is our domain controller. It says access is denied. But if we run it from this command prompt, we are able to successfully execute it. So this way we can escalate our privileges from a local administrator to domain administrator. 
and this is where PowerShell really helps. Recall that we were able to use different options from Power View to enumerate on which machines we have local admin access, on which machines a domain admin has been logged in. So we just need to use these commands together. We can easily spot the machine and get on it. So though uh, our whole videos lecture or course is based on a complete penetration test, but here is a very quick scenario. Uh, since we are on, uh, on, on this token manipulation thing. Uh, to get a foothold on any system, we can use client-side attacks with the help of PowerShell. We can send Word or Excel files which execute PowerShell scripts on a, on a client machine. Later on, we will see that there are some really good backdoors which we can use to maintain our access on those machines. From there, we can run enumeration scripts to enumerate and map the complete target network. And though everything would be useful, we can always spot a machine where a local admin to which we may have access and a domain admin are logged in. We pivot to that machine, steal the token of the domain administrator and then use PowerShell again to leverage that access for better lateral movement, for backdooring machines, for doing much better post exploitation. So this is how PowerShell helps in a penetration test. Now if you look at the token manipulation examples, you will see that it is not only the username but also the process ID which could be used to steal its token. For example, let's list the process LSS which is running and we can use invoke token manipulation with, with this impersonate user option or parameter to impersonate the privileges of LSS process which is system privileges. Now for example if we run this we are able to access this. That is, we, have, we are again elevated to the system privilege. So that is all about privilege escalation and PowerShell. Hope you enjoyed all this. If you are enjoying your time at Pentester Academy, please recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the information security community.